COVID-19 Explained. What would you like to know? So wearing a mask is actually one of the most important tools to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Now, when we talk very loudly, when we cough and we sneeze, what happens is that respiratory droplets actually spread far and wide. And respiratory droplets are actually the main mode of spread for COVID-19. The larger droplets actually may spread for about 0.4 meters before they drop to the ground. But very fine droplets, and these droplets are so small that they're invisible to the naked eye, they might travel between one to two meters and might linger around in the air for up to a minute. We put on a mask, to prevent ourselves from getting infected by these droplets and also to prevent for us from spreading disease to other people. So wearing a mask is compulsory and mandatory when you leave the house and when you're in a public place. And by wearing a mask, you have to cover the nose and the mouth and you do not leave a gap between the mask and the face. When we download the Trace Together app or take a Trace Together token with us, what it does is that it uses a Bluetooth signal to identify people around us. We were able to determine the context of that COVID-19 case and can do our contact tracing more effectively. However, Trace Together does not record the location of where that case or the contacts are. So that requires safe entry. So safe entry and Trace Together helps us to more effectively contact trace around COVID-19 cases and make Singapore a much safer place. The trace together information is secure. It is only when an individual becomes a COVID-19 case is that information downloaded. So there's no way for us to track the information loaded onto the app on an ongoing basis. And it also does not have any GPS feature. So we have no idea where the individual is. Ah, there's a big difference between spending time in the office and going for lunch. In the office, most of the time, our masks are on and we are able to maintain good physical distance. Now, when we are dining with our colleagues, most of the times our masks are off, we are in much closer physical proximity and we also tend to talk quite loudly in a social environment. So it is very important then that we limit the number of colleagues that we go out for lunch with so that we can avoid overcrowding at our lunch venues and also protect ourselves from COVID-19. So can you imagine if you're drinking a cup of coffee and someone walks past you on the way to the toilet and coughs or sneezes at you without a mask on? That would be extremely gross. Therefore, it is very important if you're not eating or drinking please put on a mask to protect yourself and to also protect others. So there are several differences between taking public transportation and interacting with our close family and friends in our social circle. Now, in our social circles, many a times we are drinking, eating with our family and friends, and there are many opportunities where the masks are off, where we are talking loudly and having very close interactions. On public transportation, although sometimes we are not able to maintain safe distancing, wearing a mask and refraining from talking and communicating will prevent the expulsion of respiratory droplets that transmit COVID-19. Also, when you leave the MRT or bus, please sanitize your hands to keep your hands clean. If we do all this, we would actually reduce the risk of COVID-19 spread to a very low level. The other thing that we all must remember to do when we're taking public transportation is also to turn on our Trace Together app or to carry our Trace Together token. This helps us to contact Trace around any COVID-19 case that might occur. Now, have you got your Trace Together app on? 